Welcome to another episode of Scott Plays Shitty Old Games That He Made. And this time we're going big. It is the long-awaited sequel to the Torture Chamber 1. It's the Torture Chamber 2. Now, this game won numerous awards at E3 last year, despite being released seven years ago. I don't know how that works, but this is probably one of the best games I've ever made. And it's horrible. I don't understand. This has like millions and millions and millions of views everywhere. It is literally the stupidest thing I've ever made. I think literally the first game was better. And yet this one is so popular I don't understand. I don't get it. Uh, let's play the game. I made this one four years after the Torture Chamber 1, which would make me 16 or 17, which is far too old for this. Well, let's see how it goes. Welcome to the Torture Chamber. The object of the game is not at all just about killing a stick. You have to find certain keys hitting around the dun- oh. Haha, <laughs> I'm fucking with myself. I'm just shitting you. The goal is quite simple. Cause as much pain to your subject as possible without killing him. Then, when you think he's had enough, finish him off with any ideas your mind can conjure up. Squash him, burn him, choke him, crush him under his own weight. Finishing moves grant huge bonuses to your score. How is your score of pain points determined? Let's find out on page two of this manual. This is exactly how you want tutorials and games to be, just walls and walls of text that really engages the player. So getting pain points, how do you win big in this game? Pain points are gained by, well, the amount of pain you are inflicting. If you make the temperature 150 degrees, for example, you will gain minimal pain points for sheer heat-induced comfort. However, if you were to say, compact the room on the subject, crushing his bones into dust, you would rack in an extremely large amount of pain points. Therein lies the problem, because while crushing the subject awards you with mess pain points, it also almost instantly kills the subject, ending the round. Finding the perfect balance between damage and points is the key to scoring high, and for some reason, I feel like there's going to be another page. There is. Awesome. Now the fun stuff. How to control the torture room. The basic commands you start out with are as follows. Q and W, lower raise gravity. A and S, lower and raise temperature. Z and X, lower and raise size of the room. Okay, good. So I can see from the first one already, I've already looked to expand by adding absolutely nothing. Um, so that's good. Once you start scoring high, you will unlock several other methods of control. I'm hoping the lightning makes a return. Their keys will be displayed when you unlock them. Well, that's about it, buddy. Oh, wait, one of the coolest parts. Page 5,000. The Thought Gun. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> I referenced Zoolander because that was big around that time. Thanks to completely fake technology, NASA has developed a gun that allows you to hear people's thoughts. And guess what? You get to run the gun for a test drive. To see what your subject is thinking, hold control to activate the gun and place a crosshair over the subject's brain. Let the hilarity ensue. Good luck, you sick bastard. Okido. Here we go. This is it. This is the live, live, not beta. Let's see what he's thinking. Uh, is he thinking anything? Oh god, I hope that's not a one-way mirror. Well, this is boring as hell. This is boring as hell. Alright. It's kind of cool. I like that little kind of Sam Fisher effect we got going on. Alright. So, so far it's not that bad. More info, drag. Alright. It's some sort of folder thing. Having trouble scoring. Is this link still active? Hold on one second, I need to see the... Oh my god, this link is still active. Imager, you are a damn good website. <laughs> anyway, um... So. It looks like we got a couple of unlockables, which is pretty nice. That, that drag text apparently is not attached to this. Which is it's good. Alright, so it was like Q, W, it was... Okay, so it's all these. Alright, gravity. I see. So if I raise up the gravity... I'm assuming he's going to be crushed. Okay. All right, that's pretty cool. All right. Clearly, I was better at Flash now. It's actually not that bad. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <New unlock. laughs> uh, this game is <laughs> actually sort of fun. God damn it. All right. A and S. Okay, so... Raising that there temperature. Oh wait, what unlockable did I get? Pistol. Click your mouse down while using the thought gun. 
Ha! Cause he's hot. Ha ha! I shot him. He doesn't care. Dude, stop! Oh, now he does. Dude, stop shooting me! <laughs> awesome! New unlock. I love the reverb on that effect. It is amazing. <laughs> what did I get this time? Let's see. Adrenaline. Hold shift to prolong the. Oh yeah, I remember that. Oxygen control. <laughs> I remember this thing. Oxygen oxygen control. When I was making this, old space to reveal oxygen toggle menu. This does absolutely nothing. It's just a completely fake thing <laughs> that literally does nothing. And I lied to people. I felt so shitty about it. Like people were like, "Why doesn't this do anything?" And I was like, "Oh, you gotta you gotta do it better." I was just lying. I was just just a jackass. I just didn't make it do anything. It's just text. That's all it is. Ugh, so shitty. Ugh. Game of the year. Alright, so, alright, let's try to get some, and then Z, and this was a compressor room. Alright, that's a lot cooler than the last one, so, I'm assuming she's gonna get Big Fat Crushed. <laughs> it didn't, he didn't really get, he didn't really get exploded, he just sort of stopped. There we go. That was pretty. Alright. So, uh, alright. Start raising up the temperature, and then we can shock him with some adrenaline, because that's pretty good to do, and that'll apparently keep him alive. So, all right, so he's overheated now, which is, I wonder if it's the same point as last time. No, it's not. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, at 212 degrees, he explodes. So, I'm gonna compress him and burn him at the same time. Alright. That seems good. His hands are going through metal objects. It's also very good. Alright, so we're gonna get it right there. Okay. That's adrenaline. Alright, so... Now he's back up to full health. Oh, I got both of them! Oh, yeah. I got a new unlockable. What'd I get? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is actually very funny. This is back uh, when Lindsay Lohan like, got in a car crash, and I thought that was really funny. That sounded terrible, but it wasn't that bad just because he was like drunk or something, so I don't feel bad anymore. But, yeah, that, that, that was this. Where is it? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, topical humor. That's very funny. <laughs> Alright, so maybe I can do... Can I crush... Can I freeze him as well? Let's try that. I'm gonna try freezing the dude. Do what he says. Anything. He doesn't really say anything about being cold, but that's all right! Is it getting smaller in here? It is, man. Why are you getting taller? That was not... <laughs> that was horribly anticlimactic. All right. I think the only way to go is burning him and then crushing him at the same time. And then Lindsay Lohanning him. I'm going to do that all at once. Here we go. I want to turn on sticky keys? Damn it, shift was a bad idea. Alright. Shit, 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 shit. Alright. Alright, this is gonna be hard as shit at the time. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, I remember that is the highest rank. So clearly I'm the best at this game. Which really says a lot about me as a person. So that was, that was the torture chamber too. I'm sure there are many more things that I haven't shown you, like... Oh well, wait, gravity can go the other way? We ain't done with this yet. Can you float away? 
apparently I didn't ever assume that they would actually try to do it in reverse. So that's good. Is he moving up? No, he's just breathing. Okay, so clearly I just only planned for one thing. That's good. Um, yeah, there's really nothing else to show you in this game because it took about three days to make. And for some reason, this is probably my most popular game that I've ever made. I don't get it. I don't get... I don't get it. Stay tuned, next! Going on to the Torture Chamber 3. Basically, it's like the Return of the King. It is the best one of the series. And Peter Jackson also directed it. Goodbye.